What's going on? And welcome to a brand new edition of Hair Mistakes That Age You Faster, subscriber edition. Actually, it's a brand new episode, but that's beside the point. <laughs> in a second, I'm going to introduce you to Janice, who is an amazing model, and we are going to walk through some potential mistakes that are going on with her current hairstyle and some ways that she can modify those to get a little bit more of a youthful look. Uh, and spoiler alert, I haven't really had a lot of chance in this particular series to talk uh, more in depth about bangs and maybe if you should wear them or not wear them or all of that good stuff. And yeah, we'll be diving deep into that one today. So buckle up folks. Uh, but should we meet Janice? Yes, let's, let's, let's meet Janice. That view doesn't suck. Okay, folks, this is Janice. Now, while I've got these photos up here, why don't you go ahead and if you're a veteran of the channel, you know exactly what's about to happen. Comment below and let me know what you think I'm seeing and maybe some modifications we should make. You guys really shock me with these because you are so spot on 90% of the time. It's super impressive. So, yeah, let me know what you're learning and uh, comment below. Okay, so before we dive into the mistakes, I want to read the email that Janice sent. Now, it doesn't have a ton of information, however, the information that it does have is super important, and it's going to dictate the majority of kind of the direction that we had with these suggestions. So, here's the email. The email reads, this is my hair air dried. It is thick and wavy. It does smooth out pretty well with blow drying and lots of moisturizing slash smoothing products. Over the pandemic, I experimented with growing my hair and my bangs. My biggest dilemma is whether to go back to fringe, bangs, or not. My usual pre-pandemic style was layered bob with fringe or slash side sweat bangs, length to just the mid-neck. Okay, now if you notice in that email, she mentioned that one, she had had a pre-pandemic kind of normal style, which was a mid-length or mid-neck length bob with some fringe, and she decided that she wanted to grow that out or grow the bangs and this shape out during the pandemic. Now that leads me to believe that she's had that style for a long time and maybe she wanted to try something new, right? So she started to grow her hair out. And nowhere in the email does she say anything about trying to think about going to a shorter style or mention anything about color. So at very minimum, I have to assume that that's at very least not on the forefront of her mind. So with these suggestions, I want to give her insight into ways that she can either grow this out into a shape that functions better for her or get this particular length to function better for her and help her to answer that question. Should she do bangs or not? So let's dive into the first mistake. Okay, so the first mistake deals with the length and that is that essentially the length is just a little bit on the longer side. Now, really, it's just kind of on the longer side in the back. If you look at this front photo, it actually isn't bad at all. It's a great length on her. I would probably bring it up a tiny bit, but it's not really a huge deal. But if you go to the profile, specifically this profile more than this one, you notice that that line actually is quite a bit shorter in the front than it is in the back. Now, this is kind of similar to last week's video where the front almost looks like a different haircut than when you turn to the profile. It's almost like a completely different haircut. Now, the reason for this is if you notice on this one particular side, it's angled a little bit too far back with those layers in the front and that has a tendency to bring the eye down and start drawing the eye towards the back of the shape. It's not as prevalent on this side because that layering isn't taken as far back. I suspect this has a little bit to do with the bangs which we'll talk about here in just a minute but that is mistake number one. Now mistake number two is that these bangs aren't connected into the layering in the front at all. As you can see, it's kind of like a little bit of a shelf right here. And this disconnection, unfortunately, creates a little bit of bulk and weight in the front. Now, when you're dealing with a hair texture like Janice's, where it is a little bit on the thicker, denser side, this is going to even compound the concern of that bulk. But if we would actually just connect these layers into the bangs, then the shape is one going to grow up much better, but it's also going to blend a lot better and just overall, it's hard to explain, but flow a lot better, which I think you'll see once we dive into the suggestions. So, yes. Okay, now mistake number three is the lack of layering in the back. Now, when you're dealing with a hair texture like Janice's, you're dealing with a lot of hair, and it'll have a tendency to grow very much down and 
out versus just down. It's going to get very heavy and bulky towards the bottom. And so we need some sort of layering to kind of break up the shape and to allow for volume where we want to get volume. Now, one of my favorite parts of this hair texture in Genesis hair is the waviness, right? The texture that that gives. And the fact that she just air dried it and it looks like this is amazing. So therefore we've got a really good texture to work with here. We just haven't started bringing any movement into the shape to create what that texture can create. Adding some layers would go a long way towards creating volume where we want it, as well as adding more shape into Janice's hair in general. Oh, and before we actually take off here, I have a huge favor to ask of you. And realistically, I never ask for anything on this channel. I actually rarely even ask to subscribe on this channel because I forget most of the time. But nonetheless, it is a huge ask. So uh, yes, if you, and only if you, find value in this series or on my channel in general, would you do me the massive favor of going ahead and go below, copy the link to this particular video, and uh, go over to your other social media platform or, or platforms or text message threads or email, whatever you want to do, and uh, post that there so that your friends can also find value like you have. I know it's a huge ask. I get it. So, yeah. Please? <laughs> there we go. Okay. Let's get back to the suggestions now. My knee hurts, so come on. Okay, our first suggestion or mistake was about the back being a little bit too long. Now the problem with that was it was pulling the eye down the shape. So if we bring the length up a little, this is what that would look like. Now, if you look at the front length, there really isn't a big shift. But then when we move to the profile, we see a larger shift and it starts to look more like a stronger shape and elevates a little of the concern that we were bringing the eye down. And with that said, very similarly to last week's episode, just bringing the length up alone doesn't get us all the way to the look we want. And in fact, it actually kind of compounds the excess amount of volume in the nape area. And a side note, many of you might be wondering, well, Justin, why do you show us these step-by-steps if correcting one mistake doesn't really do any justice and in fact, it actually can compound some of the other concerns? And that's exactly it. I want to show you that sometimes it's collectively all of these concerns that when we address them all creates the overall look that we're trying to achieve. And simply doing one of the things doesn't always help. In fact, it can actually cause a larger problem while fixing that particular potential concern. So yeah, that's why I show that to you. Does that make sense? <laughs> Okay, now mistake number two was about the bangs just not being blended into the overall shape. And that unfortunately creates this little bit of bulk right here, as well as just a little bit of a look of a shelf. So if we fill that area in to help blend those bangs in a bit more into the layers, this is what that would look like. And as you can see, this does a better job of minimizing the bulk and eliminating that shelf, but it's still not quite there to our finished look. The bigger aspect of all of this blend is that it's going to grow out much better having that blend rather than having that point of bulk and that shelf look there. Now, mistake number three was that there just really wasn't any movement to the shape. There was no layering in the back and that was adding to the overall bulk in the back, but really just not giving movement to the hair texture that Janice has. So if we added some layers, this is what that would look like. Now, as you can see, this removes a lot of the bulk from the profile, it starts to lift the eye up the back of the shape. And from the front, it opens Janice's face up a bit and starts to make kind of a more polished overall look for this particular length. In Janice's email, she says her biggest dilemma is trying to decide whether or not she should go back to the bangs that she was used to. So let's take a look at Janice's face shape and then kind of determine some different options and bangs for her and we'll let you decide if you think it would be a good move for her or not. Sound good? Okay. When we pull her hair back, one thing that stands out immediately to me, side note, is that she would look fantastic in short hair. Please tell me, do you agree with that? Comment, let me know. I think she would look amazing in short hair, but that was nowhere in her email, so we're going to move on to the bangs. Now, while she could wear bangs, she definitely doesn't have a face shape that needs bangs. She kind of could go either way, which is probably part of the reason it's so hard for her to determine what she should do. 
So first off, let's look at a little thicker and kind of more of a square bang. Now this isn't super straight across, but it is definitely as straight and as blunt as I would recommend. These bangs do a great job of bringing more focus to her eyes, but I think these would even be better if they were just slightly less straight across, as it would add a little less squareness to Janice's face and accentuate the cheekbones even more. So let's in turn see what that would look like. Now this is a very slight change, but you can see how it softens up the squareness a bit and brings a little more focus to her cheekbones. But I would take this even a step further and lighten the bangs up as well so they aren't quite as thick. And this is what that would look like. Now this would be my favorite option as it softens up her look a bit, brings more attention to her eyes, but also doesn't close her off too much and add too much squareness. Now with her hair pulled back, this is all relatively evident, but what does it look like with her hair down? Well, this is what it would look like with her hair down, whether she decided to go a little bit stronger or a little bit lighter. Now it becomes a bit more obvious how much more the fuller bangs close off her face, whereas the softer bangs still give the look, but at the same time, don't close her off nearly as much. But my question is what you think, so what do you think as far as her bangs go? Let us know below, or more importantly, let Janice know below. I think the soft bangs are great. That would probably be the way that I would move. Okay, so let's talk about curveballs. Now when I thought about the curveballs, if I'm honest, I was a little bit conflicted because after seeing that photo with her hair pulled back, it really made me want to move towards showing her some options for going shorter. But if I stay true to the point of this series, which is number one, to add value to the model and what they're currently going through in their particular circumstances, then I need to pay more attention to what she said. And again, nowhere in her email did she mention anything about going shorter or coloring her hair. She mentioned talking about the dilemma of bangs and that she was trying to grow her hair out. So I wanted to show her options that would lead her in a direction of what it could look like, some things that she could do if she were to grow her hair from here. So this is one option that I think would look fantastic on her. Now I like both these options, but I definitely lead towards the one with bangs, I think, more than the one without. They both look good, but the bangs just add a little bit of point of interest, and they bring more emphasis to her eyes and her cheekbones. More importantly, when she pulls her hair back, which is likely going to happen with her hair being a little bit longer, it adds again that kind of point of interest, something down to kind of give the shape some movement, even though it's pulled back off of her face. So that's my opinion, but as always, my big question is what your opinion is. What do you think? What do you think she should do? So many options. <laughs> so dive in below and let me know. All right, sound good. Now, I am going to go ahead and continue looking at that view and seeing what I see, which is a lot of birds. There's a lot of birds around here. It's pretty cool. Okay. <laughs> you, thank you so much for hanging out. I appreciate you joining me on, on this little adventure, and uh, I will see you next week. You have a good one. Thanks again. We'll talk to you soon. Take care now. Bye. Doesn't suck.